How many times in your life has that light bulb gone on over your head and you thought, that's it, I finally invented something? And then you go and Google it and find out someone else had already done it. That happens quite a lot, but every now and then, someone comes up with a totally new idea. And it's for something that everyone will want. I'm Jonathan Healy, and this is Red Business. The Red Business Podcast with Jonathan Healy. This week, how a simple device designed in Cork might save your life. We talk about shared working spaces and how they can help startups. There's an infinite amount of distractions. And, you know, they're not just because you can Facebook in your pyjamas and stuff. And later, how we will have to wait a little longer for those direct flights from Cork to New York. The doors are firmly open for, for Cork to New York, uh, and over the summer we'll have a, a better idea of if it's possible and when we might be able to launch that. Red Business with Jonathan Healy. Combine all your lines of communication and simplify the game. Search Vodafone One Net Business today. Uh, what's that? What's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that! Me! I'm Thomas Edison! I invented the light bulb! Uh, what's it do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff! I was about to say that because I invented it! Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! That... I knew that because I invented it! I'm Thomas Edison! I rule! Family Guy's take on inventors there probably a little unfair on Edison, but we begin this week with the real McCoy, a bona fide inventor. Sean O'Toole's new product has been making headlines recently. He's only 28 years of age, but has done what most entrepreneurs can only dream about, inventing a product that all of us will want in our home. In fact, after I met with Sean, he posted on Twitter, it's a good day when you nearly sell your entire year's projected sales in one day think we can all agree that would be a pretty good day. His company is called Firemole and it promises to bring fire detection to the point of ignition. There had to be a story as to why he started there. So the idea originally came from when a incident in my own home where the fuse board nearly caught on fire. Um, I went out to see why the lights started flickering in the house and saw the front of the fuse board had melted. I know I couldn't turn the power off because the main switch was melted, so I knew with my electrical training to go outside and pull the main ESB fuse, which shut the power off to the house and stopped the heat from generating within the fuse board. And we were lucky in this instance. Um, there was no major damage done, but for other people who wouldn't have known how to respond in that situation, it could have been a lot worse. Let's talk about how that started the wheels turning in your mind uh, and you got to the position where you came up with Fireball. So what happened next? Uh, so I went to, I started developing it with an electronic engineer. Um, he kind of streamlined it for me because I come from an electrical background, but electronics wouldn't be my thing. Um, so he streamlined the device for me, uh, pitched it to Enterprise Ireland's New Frontiers program. Uh, they liked the idea, so they put me on their six-month entrepreneurial development program, which is based in the Rubicon Center. And that kind of gave me a nice polished business plan, uh, gave me mentorship. It gives you some initial seed funding of 15,000 euros to kind of keep you going keep you going over the six months. Um, and from there, I've just been developing it the whole time. And Okay, that's the, that's the, the how. Uh, the, the why, though, is because you, you identify that there is a big risk in a lot of our homes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the fake charges are a big issue, but even the genuine ones can cause a, a problem as well. Apple have had to recall millions of their charges over the last number of years. HP currently have recalls ongoing, and so do uh, Microsoft Surface Pro power cords, because even though they are genuine, things can still go wrong. Um, so people need to be cautious of using charges, because anything that draws a current or has a transformer in it will generate heat, and if it's not taken care of in the proper way, it could potentially start to fire or cause an injury. Yeah, let's face it, we all leave our chargers plugged in for too long, a lot longer than advised. And a lot of chargers are knockoffs, replacements we bought when we lost the original or slammed in the car door or whatever. Sean says leaving them plugged in, it's not a good idea. The charger will still draw current even if there's nothing being charged there. Now, it won't be drawing the same type of current it would be while it's charging the device, but I would definitely recommend plugging out everything that... that isn't in use and if you're not in the vicinity I wouldn't be charging it at all. And of course we all charge our phones overnight as well because they drain so much battery we leave them charged in for however long we're asleep, seven, eight hours. That's not great either, is it? Yeah, so I mean we talk to a lot of people and over 95% of them charge their phones overnight. 
Um, and th the thing about fire mole is that you can attach this to your charger and if it does detect a high temperature during the night, it will sound an alarm and hopefully wake you up so you can deal with the situation. So that brings us to Sean's new product, which is annoyingly simple. There's an inbuilt alarm in the device, so once it detects a temperature over 54 degrees Celsius, it sounds the alarm and alerts you to the, to the problem. So give it a blast there. So in other words, if you're asleep, you hear that noise, you think it's your alarm clock, try to turn it off, but it's actually this alarm. It's the alarm that's built into the device, yes. So. And what temperature does it have to reach before it goes off? So it goes off at a temperature over 54 degrees Celsius. Now the reason for that is from our testing, some chargers can get to about 50 degrees and that's when we've covered it in blankets, which is not a safe thing to be doing. Um, but the other reason is that human skin tissue can be damaged at temperatures around 52 degrees also, especially in younger children. So that's the reason and one of our key selling points to parents is that this is a device that can prevent injuries to, to smaller children. What I really like about Sean and Firemole is that it's that rarest of things, a brand new idea. Idea. There's absolutely nothing like this on the market right now and as a result he's getting a lot of interest. This is a technology that you want to migrate into these plugs in future so that it's a, a genuine plug, a genuine product will want something like this in it. Is that where you see this going? Absolutely. I mean we've got a lot of products in the pipeline, um, things that I can't talk about too much at the moment. Ah, go uh, on, dude. there's <laughs> only a few people. Uh, it could cost the company a lot of money in a few years' time, so I'd prefer to keep it under wraps for now, but we def definitely do have some exciting stuff coming through the, coming through the works. Firemole isn't ready for sale just yet, but if you are interested in buying one, you can pre-register your interest on Sean's website, firemole.com. Red Business with Jonathan Healy. Want to simplify how you work? Combine all your lines of communication with Vodafone OneNet Business.